Hey, we just saw how a massive star dies in a spectacular supernova explosion. That blast is so powerful that it leaves behind one of two things, either a black hole, which we've already covered, or something equally mind-bend weird, the neutron star. These are the ultimate cosmic relics, packing the mass of our entire sun into a tiny ball only about the size of a city. Forget black holes for a second, because neutron stars are actual physical objects, where the laws of physics are pushed to the absolute breaking point. So how does it form? When a star is too big to become a white dwarf, but not quite big enough to collapse all the way into a black hole, the supernova explosion crushes the core down with unimaginable force. That force is so extreme that it overwhelms the electrons, forcing them to literally fuse with the protons. Protons plus electrons equal neutrons. The entire star core becomes one giant atomic nucleus, made almost entirely of densely packed neutrons. That's why we call it a neutron star. And when we say dense, we mean dense. If you took just a single teaspoon of neutron star material, it would weigh over a billion tons. That's more than every single car, truck, and building on Earth combined. The pressure is so high that the neutrons are touching, squeezed together tighter than anything else in the universe outside of a black hole singularity. But neutron stars don't just sit there. They are born incredibly fast. As the core collapses from a massive star down to a tiny city, it obeys the law of conservation of angular momentum. It spins up violently. It can rotate up to hundreds of times per second. Now, the really cool part, pulsars. When a neutron star forms, it often inherits an incredibly strong magnetic field from its parent star. This field is a billion times stronger than anything we can create on Earth. As the star spins, this super strong magnetic field focuses beams of radio waves and other radiation out from its magnetic poles. If one of those beams happens to sweep across Earth as the star rotates, we detect it as a regular, incredibly precise pulse, like a cosmic lighthouse. That's what we call a pulsar. They are so regular that for a while, scientists thought they might be signals from an alien civilization. So, neutron stars are the universe's most extreme examples of condensed matter, a spinning, super dense, city-sized relic firing beams of radiation across the galaxy. Pretty wild, right?